High winds, the power's been out for three days and we had an unexpected hard freeze. Check out what happened to the garden. So it's uh, early September and a couple days ago we woke up to high winds, the power went out, and then the next day we woke up to 26 degrees in early September. That's just not normal. That was totally unexpected. And you can see here, we just lost uh, the majority of our garden. Tomatoes are done. Uh, thankfully, we were able to harvest all the green tomatoes. They're slow to ripen here in our, in our northern climate, um, but it did not freeze so hard that the tomatoes themselves were ruined. And so we were able to uh, harvest all of those and we're gonna ripen them in the box. And uh, we've got a video for that. We'll put that in a link for you. Um, so it's not a total loss on the tomatoes. You can see the cucumbers here uh, pretty much gone though. Check this out. I wonder what happened here. We've got a straggler. Interesting, a couple of them made it for some reason. Don't know why. And, um, but yeah, most of it's gone. And uh, the cucumbers were pretty damaged, so they were not, they didn't make it. Thankfully, you can see uh, we are getting the corn in. Um, it, the freeze did kill the corn, but thankfully it wasn't so hard that it ruined the kernels. So we're out here now. Some of the young guys are harvesting all the corn and getting it in before it freezes again. We've had two freezes in a row when it wasn't supposed to be lower than 40 degrees. So we're having some interesting weather. So corn's gone, lost all our winter squash. Of course, the, bee, the peas have been done for a while, but the beans are another one that are gone. And you know, you guys have done a video for you before. You can uh, put water onto your plants when they have frosted and sometimes frozen and it will often save them. Last year, I saved all the starts in our greenhouse by doing that. Um, but this was a really hard freeze and because we weren't expecting it, we didn't prep the hoses and the water. So the water was all frozen and you know, we didn't have power. So it was really, really hard to uh, get all our systems up and get the water thawed out. We did get some water on it, um, but it was too late. And then we had a second freeze last night. And so thankfully we've gotten a decent harvest on the beans, but we should have got another month out of them, which would have been many, many more bushels of beans. So uh, we're really gonna get cut short this year, but um, that happens sometimes. One of the bright spots in the garden though is some of our root crops. Um, you know, the, the beets, the carrots especially, and the parsnips have a little better ability to tolerate the cold. And I was able to get this row of sprinklers going that first morning uh, before the sun hit them. Thankfully, the beans shaded them a little bit and we were able to get water on them. And while there was some pretty good damage to some of the beet leaves, they're not completely ruined. And I think we'll still get some growth out of them. Usually this time of year, we do have a frost. We can usually get through it and get another month of growing. So hopefully that'll happen here. Carrots are gonna do fine. Parsnips are gonna do fine. And so this is a good testimony to growing what works well in your area. We have switched over to growing a lot more root crops. This whole half of the garden was dedicated to root crops. And if they're mature, even if the tops die back, um, all of these vegetables are going to handle uh, a few freezes as long as the ground doesn't freeze solidly. And, and even then, they'll, they can handle some of that. So um, thankfully, we're going to get in a, a lot of beets, a lot of carrots, a lot of parsnips. Potatoes are kind of the same. They look really bad. They got wiped out, killed, you can see here. Uh, they're just dead. Um, we're just gonna cut all the tops off us and we'll harvest them in a few days, a little earlier than we were planning on. So I imagine the, the harvest will be a little uh, less, but again, thankfully with the root crops, they're gonna be okay, even though they look really, really bad. And uh, we had already gotten the onions in out there and we're getting ready to prep those beds. And uh, 
The chard came up a little sporadic this year, but it's actually doing okay as well. It's a little wilty, but it's gonna manage and we'll probably get another month, maybe two months of chard. So what's the takeaway? You know, in the homesteading life, in the gardening life, uh, nature's always got the upper hand. We do our best uh, to work with nature, but something's always gonna happen. Something's gonna change our plan. Something's gonna come up. And, uh, you know, so we do our best to work within the environment that we live in, to work in the systems that we live in. And then, you know, we need to plan for things like this. We want to keep our pantries full. We want to always try to produce a little bit more than we need. Um, because these things are going to happen, and so we just, uh, we just roll with it.